to Bible study from the garage. Uh, we don't have uh, coffee because we're doing this one in the afternoon. It's in the afternoon here. So we, we, gotta, got, we got tumblers in the garage. I'm not going to say what you got in yours. I got Diet Coke in mine. That's what I got in mine. <laughs> we are going to talk about alcohol. Today. We are going to talk about a talk beverage. About yeah. a, a party excuse, beverage. Excuse me one second. <laughs> We are going to talk about Noah and his sons, and probably some uncomfortable topics here. Get ready. Get ready. So Genesis 9, uh, we're going to read 18 to 29. Here we go. The sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was peopled. It's an interesting word. Noah, a man of the soil, was the first to plant a vineyard. He drank some of the wine and became drunk, and he lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and walked backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. When Noah awoke, from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done to him. He said, Cursed be Canaan, lowest of slaves shall he be to his brothers. He also said, Blessed by the Lord my God be Shem and let Canaan be his slave. May God make space for Japheth and let him live in the tents of Shem and let Canaan be his slave. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years and the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Nakedness, alcohol. We better say a prayer for this one. Let's say a prayer. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gift of life itself and all good things. We give you thanks for this time together, this chance to turn to your word and to read a story that maybe we don't uh, look at too often. But it's a story that's very familiar, a story about family, a story about uh, alcohol, a story about communication with each other, and, and maybe even how we shame each other. So be with us today. Help us as we uh, find understanding and insight. Help us to always look for ways to build each other up, not tear each other down. Help us to look for uh, how we can live in this world and to know what actions are right and maybe which actions aren't. Sometimes there is uh, hard to discern right and wrong, but other times we know with clarity what you're calling us to. And so call us to live upright lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Um, Amen. All right. We got Noah. We got good stuff today. We got Noah. We got got some things. We got some code words in here. We do. We got a variety of elements that we can sort of unpack for this. And then we have some mystery as well. We have some things that aren't explained. Yeah, what happened in that tent? What what happened with those guys? Something uh, I, went down. <laughs> Something went down. It's kind of like it's in the Hangover movie. We don't know what happened. We, happened. <laughs> we got to piece it together afterwards. Well, maybe There's a have. mystery. We don't know. Do you remember? I don't remember. <laughs> Check your pockets. Check your pockets. There's got to be a clue. <laughs> There's got to be a camera, There's right? Gotta There's a camera. Clue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never even thought about that. That's it. To the, That's the, it. Uh, we don't know what happened. The trio of movies. Yeah, it's fantastic, right? Right? So yeah. it's a little bit of a mystery. So let's start with the first line. So Okay. All right. Noah, man of the soil, was first to plant a vineyard. He's the first guy. He's the winemaker. He's the number one guy. Well, we got to think about that. Not just the winemaker, but, you know, at a certain point, people are hunter and gatherers. Sure. And then all of a sudden we settle down. Human beings settle down and live in town. So I'm going to not travel here and there with the seasons or with the flocks. And so if you're going to have grapes, we got some grapes. You got to go to Temecula. I don't think we got any San Diego grapes, do we? I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think so. Uh, you don't have any Escondido? Escondido. Okay. You got some Escondido grapes, yes. not quite to Temecula. Valley. There we go. Yeah. And we got some wineries around here. Yeah. A little hint. Not wine. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so he drank some of the wine and became drunk. Did he know? That's the thing. Happen. You know, if nobody has ever gotten drunk before... How did he know what was going on? And do you ever think about that? Who's the first one to say, this really this really smells bad. Try some. This really, I think this is turned. Yeah, give it a try. Same thing with coffee. Who's the first guy to say, we got to have coffee? Now, no, Diet no, Coke, no. I know why the first person drank Diet Coke, because they made it in a laboratory and yeah, said, yeah, hey, this is, this is good for you. 
You sure it wasn't going to be a heckle and jive? Uh, heckle and jive. <laughs> Maybe there's something in there. I don't know. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Hyde, Hyde. Mr. Hyde. In, yes. in the wine. Yeah. So, so he, uh, uh, he is the first uh, vineologist, I guess, and he makes wine. Does he know? And he's a righteous man. Does he know that the wine is going to get him drunk or not? I don't know. But That's one of the mysteries. It, was this just an experiment? Hey, let's drink this juice and see what happens. And then know. it turned out he woke up again. So I'm a happy drunk when I drink a little, you know, whatever, libation. So I, I was going to ask, you ever I seen your dad drunk? Uh, I have. I, I won't, have. mom and dad, I won't tell any stories. I'll tell them about myself. I'm not good when I get drunk. You're a happy drunk, though? Yeah, very happy. Oh, you're very happy. See, happy. some of us don't get to drink anymore oh, because we uh, definitely proved yeah. it's not for us. We yeah, definitely that's my proved. dad. My dad yeah. stopped doing that. So yeah. You can make some, some pretty bad choices, but getting naked... <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of stuff that happens. You never know what's going to happen when you put some of that. This this maybe is a warning to people to think sure. think through if you're going to drink this. This is a cautionary tale. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it's not a shaming tale. I don't know, but yeah. we have to think about some code words now, right? I mean, we do. We talk about nakedness in the Bible. Yeah, oh, there Lord. is this idea. Saw saw his uh, the nakedness of his father. This idea saw his nakedness um, in the book of Leviticus. That's code word for sexual intercourse, which okay. is a little bit uncomfortable here because we're not just talking about sex; right. we're talking about incest. If that's really what it means. And that's a big problem. Sure. So I, I'm not going to give it all to you. You can be a Bible bloodhound and you can look up in the <laughs> book of Leviticus. I'm not sure I should point all these details out because some of them, you know, we don't tell the kids this in third grade Bible study at, at Sunday yeah. school. We don't yeah. tell the kids that there is Bible code words that means this. One of the other ones we don't see in this, but uh, when you see somebody's feet. Then, you know, uh, Ruth and Boaz, she laid at his feet. Uh, yeah, it wasn't his feet she was laying at. And so sometimes there is code language. Sure. Well, you know, as a joke, right, people say, I knew that person biblically. That's it. That's We're the other back, word. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Adam so Eve, right. Adam knew his wife Eve. That's another Bible code word for it's not about knowing, it's about sex. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, this is interesting because we can really play with the literal aspect of it and then compare in terms of what what do these code words really mean. Yeah. And so it leaves some openness in the story. I mean, it jumps right from he's the first to plant a vineyard to now he's drunk in just one sentence. That and escalated so, quickly. <laughs> that escalated quickly. I mean, think about that. Like you and I were talking, it, it takes some time. I mean, wine is a, a product that takes time, time to produce. To make, yeah. I, I mean, that's that's my favorite uh, scene in The Jerk where uh, it comes over with the aged wine. He says, enough of this. Let's get some new, something this year. I mean, enough of this old wine. <laughs> Stop bringing me this old stuff. Yeah, it's something new. Takes a while. And, and so does. he's credited here with being the first. Yeah. But I, we don't know where any of this came from, right? So this is the first really written aspect of it, right? right. That's, that's pretty interesting. So now we get into the little parts here where um, his, uh, his grandson delights in his humiliation and yeah. runs off and, and tells uh, the other two, Shem and Jafet. Yeah. Uh, and they take action. They take action and they, they do. They back in. They, they must take a garment and walk backwards and then they dump yeah, it. Yeah, because they don't even want to look they don't at him. They, 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 they want to cover up. They don't want to expose his shame. They don't want to bring light to it. Right. They, they don't want to look at it. And, and so it's probably, you know, I don't believe some of the sexual connotation here. I think it's hinted at. But, but definitely we see Ham sees dad doing something sure and he doesn't fix the situation he doesn't protect his dad's no. honor um he goes to his brothers and say hey did you see what dad was doing <laughs> did you see what dad's running around naked in the house and it's not good uh maybe you so, shouldn't drink so much <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is it and you're learning something about yourself right you are but i mean home. this is this is another thing to think about if you start filling in some of the picture here uh you know apparently building that ark was kind of tough on noah he had to take his retirement and and uh, he sure. needed to blow off a little steam. Apparently, uh, it was a tough life for Noah. And uh, I think Noah knew what he was doing. It says he's the first one to plant a vineyard. Right. 
Doesn't say he's the first one to get drunk. Doesn't say he's the first one to get alcohol. But he intentionally plants a vineyard sure. and does it for a specific reason. He he knows what he's doing. He's got a goal. He's headed there. He's going to go out to pasture and he's going to spend a lot of time you know, drunk. Well, if you're going to be 950 years old, that's a lot. Uh, yeah. I mean, you need to back away from it. It's been a tough life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back away from it. I love that. Oh, one of my very good friends just says, you know, you ever have those times in life when you just don't want to talk? You just need peace and quiet and moments to yourself. And maybe that was maybe that was his medicine, mother's helper. Uh, I think you might be saying to something know. here. But I think you might be. Yeah, this takes a turn, and we yeah. get something out of this now, right? Because we're yeah. getting uh, we're getting an understanding of what sin might be. Yeah. and how people would interpret it we get right and judgments. the family family system and that you sure. know idea that it's a mixed up family here this uh, from the very beginning you add alcohol to the equation in the family system kind of goes nuts we've got a secret <laughs> yeah. we've got you know one brother not uh, dealing with his father right he's uh, not directly his honor, yeah. he's not dealing directly he's talking about the other i think that's called triangulation and building sure. an alliance and then yeah. the two brothers you know ham isn't involved in the solution these other guys take it on themselves sure and it doesn't say he wakes up and knows what they did right he says he knows what his youngest son, son had did. done to him. That's it. So now, that's did, what. Does that mean he pulled out a sharpie and started writing that, pictures? That, yeah, I don't know. It must have been a really. Oh, I don't know, but yeah. what happens from this, though, you know, just even historically, is significant, right? Yeah. Three words: cursed, cursed be Canaan. There's consequences to this, Major and, consequences and blessings and curses. Yeah, this this idea. Well. And one of that is the, the ancient enemy uh, of the Israelites, uh, of the Hebrew people, was the Canaanites. Canaanite. So this is a, a, a narrative story of their origins. The, sure. the book of Genesis, the word Genesis means beginnings or origins. It's sure. where do all these people come from? Where does the, the family of God come from? Uh, it, it comes from Noah yep. and his family. The reality is all the families of the earth come from, from Noah, Noah and his People family. This is it. And so, but, but where does the hated enemy, the neighbor, the Canaanites who were constantly at war with, they're from this side of the family and they were cursed. And so we have the beginning of this curse, right? So we have the, the, the cycle of sin, judgment, and curse all in this, just, you know, these few words, right? So we're yeah. getting an introduction. Well, usually it's God giving the judgment and the curses here. So this is sure. one of the interesting things. You know, when we, we think about Adam and Eve in the garden, sure. they're told not to do something, they disobey, they're judged, and then they're kicked out as a punishment. They're kicked out of the garden. Here, you know, Noah and his family, something happens, Ham did something, we don't know what, but he did something, and there are consequences, and there is judgment, sure. and there is a punishment. And so uh, you maybe even think about how you parent your kids. Um, <laughs> well, you know? I, kid, I just have Okay, one. kid, so yeah. Kids, I have easy uh, right, you got hard. it. Yeah, I don't have any, so this we idea. Only have of, one, it was, and something breaks. <laughs> no, we did. <laughs> That joke. No, nobody to blame. Yeah, <laughs> nobody to blame. The dog, maybe the dog. Yeah, <laughs> we get to pass the buck. But but this is one of the things. Noah takes no accountability for his actions. No, none whatsoever. Takes no accountability no. for his actions. I, I I don't think that holds up in court. But now this is one of the questions. Even you know, I live across from San Diego State, and San Diego State. One of the numbers I, I find it shocking, but fifty uh, percent of date rapes involved alcohol. You know, and so alcohol is a component in sure. all kinds of things, and uh, you know things happen. and And how do we uh, how do we account for that? What do we do with that? Alcohol is now introduced out into the world, and from the beginning, it's a complicated mess. Uh, but we we maybe need to know there is an old Jewish uh, saying that says, you know, where there is no wine, there's, there's no, no joy. joy. This is true. <laughs> this is true. So some of the wine drinkers have that. You know, I go to their kitchens and they got that printed out there, you know. And, and even Psalm 104 talks about sure. the grasses that God has made oh, yeah. and we all the other things. Right and, yeah, if you got it, it really. Uh, Psalm 104 it says, you cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use to bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the human heart. Oh, it gladdens the heart. That's what it does. Well, we see in our Maybe story. Maybe one gladdens the heart. You know, two might make it, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> two might be I'm happy, yeah. and three might make you naked, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the question, too. I mean, is there morals around drinking? And and one of my favorite conversations with another pastor was Jesus' first miracle was to turn water uh, into wine in at, at Cana, at, at the Cana, wedding yeah. in Cana. Um, and, and one of my favorites, I was talking with the Southern Baptist pastor, and he said, yeah, that was Jesus' first miracle. But it, it, nobody got drunk on that because it was non-alcoholic wine. I said, non-alcoholic? I think that's called grape juice. That's not called wine. It's but he was convinced. That Jesus didn't get anybody drunk. What do you need? Because that would have been immoral. Wine? Grape juice, maybe a little extra sugar, maybe not. I mean, there's enough sugar in the juice already. There's enough sugar and in yeast. the juice. And yeast. Yeah. And off you go, right? This is it. And so, so this idea, as Lutherans, we haven't moralized drinking or even drunkenness. Now, what's Luther say about it? Well, he, he had a few drinks in his day. He had a few drinks. He wasn't above drinking. In fact, it's one of my favorites. Some of the other branches of Lutheranism, uh, you know, are very moralistic on everything sure. else. Sure. But alcohol, uh, so we got all these morals about things. But drinking, that's, we're never going to talk about that one being immoral. And so it's, it's very interesting. But, you know... Um, this idea that alcohol is a part of our society and, and how do we live with it? Um, you know, alcohol is not for everybody. No. You know, some of us have proven it's not for us. But, you know, should it be outlawed? Should it be banned? Uh, I don't think so. And Didn't I don't work. think... I don't think the morality around drinking, right. it's, it's what happens when you drink. It's what, what happens and, and the idea that, you know, control... Sure. And I think that's why it was a scary substance. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the ancient world especially, because what could you put into somebody and all of a sudden they're acting they're act, what's the word? Acting a fool. Act I think that's a, a I think that's a act phrase fool, these days. Yeah. But uh, he you know, how do we live in this world and and these substances that uh, have a great deal uh, in them to help people? Sure. Alcohol was considered medicine for a lot of years. Well, that's what all the, uh, during this pandemic, right? Oh, really? What's in the, the, the gel? Hand, hand sanitizer. sanitizer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now wow. we're there. It does have a purpose. Absolutely has a purpose. And, yeah. And, and there, but there's more to this story, right? I mean, there is. the family dynamics. Yeah. I mean, we're looking at uh, family systems right here. Sure. Uh, the creation of... Uh, other groups who may be cursed or my enemy. I mean, yeah. there's a lot that's packed in here. It sure is. And it leaves a lot for interpretation as well because there's a lot of gaps in here as well. It, it really is. And we got to fill in the blanks. And this is where uh, people Do can get really blanks? creative. They can get, they get really creative, creative yeah. uh, and try and say, you know, well, this is what it means to me. And so grateful that we can talk through a, a sure. story that we don't lift up too much. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it. There's lots of this, especially in the Old Testament, right. where, you know, you make these leaps of, you know, these things happen, then all of a sudden you jump ahead some period of time, yeah. and filling in that gap can be dangerous, but that's maybe where it religion is. comes from as well, and so some of the religiosity yeah. that gets put in is so people can fill those gaps in. Absolutely. And, and here I thought Noah was just a guy who had all the cute animals in an ark. Here. He's one of the most famous guys in the Bible. Everybody knows him. And he's quoted in the New Testament sure. uh, as being a hero of the faith. The book of Hebrews talks sure. about him. And he's uh, talked as a, a prophet in other places um, that he's lifted up. Uh, and so this idea of who was Noah? Well, you know, this, is, this is a story we don't usually tell. Yeah. But he was loved by God, and he was a righteous man. That's it. So thank you for joining us again in the garage for another episode of Bible Study from the Garage.